I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Python as your calculator. Um, this is actually Trinket. If you go to trinket.io, you have Python on a web page. And so let's just start. I'm going to go, I'm already logged in, but you don't even have to be logged in. And I'm going to go click here and make a new Trinket. And I want GlowScript. You could do it in Python too, but GlowScript has some stuff built into it. Uh, first of all, you could save things if you wanted to, but let's just let's just get don't worry about that. Okay, this is a problem I gave on a test actually recently. I'm gonna show you how you would solve it on Python. So the idea is you shoot a ball uh, off a table from a height of 0.93 meters. So I'm gonna put that variable in here right there as a as a line, and it travels a distance of 1.23 meters horizontally. Don't put the units. Okay, you, if you Put the units no longer a number. If you want the units, you could say right here as a comment with the uh, with the pound symbol meters. If that makes you happy. Okay. I also need g of 9.8. Okay. So I'm not going to go through the physics of this, uh, but I want to find the launch velocity. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the kinematic equation in the y direction, which would say the final position is going to be the initial position plus Initial velocity times one half g t squared minus one half g t squared. If I solve that, I get, I get this. I get t equals the square root of two times h over g. <coughs> so sqrt is a built-in square root function in the in Python. So you can you can use that. If I wanted to, I could do this. Print t, and now I run it, and it gives me the t value right there. If, I, if you didn't like that, you could even do this. The time is comma t comma space seconds. Does that make you happy? Okay, but we don't need that. That's just showing you how you can use this calculator. But the nice thing then, if I do that print t, and I go up here and change this to uh, 9.5, and then it'll redo it with the right value. Okay, I'm going to change that back to 9.3. Okay, oops. 9.3. Get rid of this. Now I want the velocity, so velocity is going to be the distance it traveled x divided by the time. So now I can print v. If you want to print t, you can print t also. Um, so some other quick things. What if I want to do, uh, say, theta equals 60 degrees, and I want the component of velocity I'm shooting at an angle. Let's just say. So I could say vx equals v times cosine 60, but Python assumes everything's in radians, so I need to convert this to radians. Pi divided by 180, and then print vx. And there's my x component. Uh, finally, there's one other thing. What if I want a, a vector? Let's say a equals vector. 1, 2, 3, b equals vector negative 3, 0, 3, print a plus b. So it prints out the vector. It does vector operations too. So really, this is a great calculator. You can save your programs and remember what you calculated, and it focuses on using these numbers, but you also have to put in the equation. So it, it's what I use almost all the time for calculations.